Okay, I'm going to show you how to color fondant and make a fondant rose. Knead your fondant first. Get it nice and soft. Create a well. I like to use squeeze gel or paste, never liquid. Liquid is water-based. I use gloves because it likes to stain your hands. We're going to make a red fondant rose. Knead it in. That's how you want to color your fondant. It's very messy. Knead it in till you get the color you want. Paste is the most concentrated and then squeeze gel and then liquid. Okay. Powder your top. You can use cornstarch. It doesn't dry out your fondant. Or you can use powdered sugar. Now we got the color we're going to use. I'll show you how to make a fondant rose. If you don't have circle cutters at home, you can use the back side of tips for your size on your rose petals. And we rolled out our fondant. We sprinkled some cornstarch. You can use cornstarch or powdered sugar so your fondant doesn't stick to the counter. Okay? I'm going to use the back size of my tips. For the center, your center is going to be slightly larger than the petals. I'm going to use that side, and then you're going to need eight or nine petals. So I'm going to cut out eight petals. We'll cut out an extra just in case. Get rid of the excess fondant. Take our center. I'm going to thin out the edges a little bit. Makes the rose look a little more delicate. Okay, and we're going to roll up our center. Just roll it up. This is your bud. This is your center. And this is what all your petals are going to stick to. And kind of pinch it and set it up on your countertop. So there's your bud. Take your petals, use a piece of saran or a Ziploc bag, and then slightly thin them out, smash them down. Get them nice and thin. And we're going to wet the part that sticks to your bud, just the bottom. Water is like a gluing agent to fondant. So you're going to wrap the petal around your bud, like so. We'll work it a little bit when we're done, but for now, I'm going to smash each petal nice and thin. Wet the bottom. Really press it on there. Five petals around the three in the center. Fast so the battery doesn't wear out. Sorry.
Don't worry about the cornstarch on your petals because we're going to brush that off with some sort of white alcohol when we're finished because white alcohol will not melt your fondant. Water will. You want to use a vodka or a gin. You could use vanilla and extract. Anything that's clear. So we're smashing the tips of our petals to get them nice and delicate. This is just water. Rubbing my fingers in the cornstarch a little bit. If they get too wet. Okay. Now you can work the petals a little bit, thin them out, ripple them a little. Let them fold out, depending how open you want your flower. Take a brush with your clear alcohol, and you're going to get rid of that cornstarch. Or that powdered sugar, whatever you rolled it out on the counter with. It won't affect your fondant, but it'll get rid of all that. Now you want to let your rose dry overnight. You can set it in an egg carton. You can pinch off the bottom a little bit too. Set it in an old egg carton that you took the eggs out of and let it dry overnight. And there's your fondant rose. Let's clean it up a little bit more. Get all that cornstarch off. Keep playing with the petals till you get it the way you like it. It should set up in just a couple hours, but I like to give it overnight. Bend your petals out a little bit. There's your fondant rose.